Ahoy, hoy! How's it Hi, going, everyone? everybody? Good morning. Hope you are having an awesome uh, Friday. Friday. On the high seas. It's Friday. Oh, my goodness. It is. So it's excited. Friday all day. Mm. I know, and we have our big coffee cups today, yes, too. Look at my, this. My awesome new coffee cup. And, by the way, I just I got this as a birthday present, so how perfectly perfect, right? So... Yeah, my friend Dave gave that, this to me. I love the snaggly um, teeth. Well, I love that it's the scary skeleton because you know there's the two skulls. In yeah, Lego. there's, there's, there's like the, the happy one, one right? and the happy one, yeah. and I love this. This is like. I think this what do I have? I have the one. happy one coming up later. Gotcha. All Why right. don't we say hi to everyone? Yeah, let's see who's here. It's usually a it's usually a big day well, on get Fridays. You with your new short hair. I know. You know what? I didn't have. I didn't have to spend 10 minutes, like, fussing my hair for the show, and I didn't even know what to yeah. do. Like, we were sitting down here early, like... We were, we were <laughs> at the, at the desk here. <laughs> of course, we found ridiculous. something to rush about, you know, at in the, the last, last second. 30 seconds, right? <laughs> we well, let's it. say hello to everyone. All right. Arr, go uh, ahead. Um, let's see, so, um, Albert Lee is here, mm -hmm. Aqua Mike TV... Ben Dury, Brickanista, Brickworm, uh, Chris and Captain Jaden going boating holiday. Oh, I like that. Uh, David, <laughs> David Robinson. Robinson. Hey, Dave. Uh, Debo Bricks, Fallen Tree 23. Hey, Shame. Gwyneth, uh, Gwyneth is here. Oh. Always good to see Gwyneth. Holly. Ha Gwyneth and Holly right next to each other. That's how I would like to see them the next time we see them is right next to cool. each other. Would be great. Um, uh, JMW, JMW Music, Music, John Latrell, Jonathan Ramirez Rosales, welcome again. Christopher, Christopher Coster. Coster, yay, always good to have you. Lego Ninja 13, a new name. Welcome, Lego Ninja 13. Everybody give uh, them a big ahoy hoy tricky lug welcome in the chat. Uh, Yano is here. Hi, Yano. Um, Matthew Builds Bricks. Yes. Mini Ma Fig Chick with three names Whoa. coming up. We've got Mini Me Fig Nick. Nick. Molly Williams and Monica Berry, and then Moto. Right, we got Mr. Elmo That's Man. That's a record. Orange Bricks, Pink Wheels Three, Meredith. Always good to see you. Uh, Remy, Remy Baker, Baker, Rob Ketcherside, Rob Zaccardi, and I expect Lana and Vanessa too. Yay. Hi, um, Sarah Silverman is here. Hi, Sarah. Uh, Shane Levan, Stubot. The Brick Orphanage, uh, WGJL uh, Reviews Mocks. And WGJL Productions. Both. Wow. Get uh, if you have, you have employees now, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Kim is here. Is Eric Kino. And Alyssa is here. Hi, Alyssa. And somebody else just popped in, too, but I don't Yeah, if I we, if we miss Kanye, you, you popped in the alphabet there. Yeah. And welcome to everyone on Facebook and YouTube who isn't commenting, and we may not know your name, but... You're so welcome on our fun Friday um, gallery showing of our build of our uh, challenge, right? Yes, very very excited. Um, so this is oh my goodness. Okay, today so, is brought to you by Emmett. Well, more importantly, with his, with Emmett his with coffee. coffee, yes, and his so. headphones. <laughs> So pins, should we do pins? Let's do pins. Um, <laughs> Here, we'll try and get them waved. Pins. It's okay. I do it all the time. Okay. You ready? <laughs> okay, I wave too. I wave. Oh well, wait. But you can see me wave. Uh, yes, from um, Pirates of the Caribbean, at World's End. Is yes. that what it's called? Mm -hmm. At World's End. I think this is Jack Sparrow's flag. There you oh, see. Oh, you the did sparrow. it. Very good. In Very focus. Good. <laughs> very Not good. as easy as you might think. And I have a very appropriate Skull and Crossbones Mickey pin with green glittery eyes. Yay, because we're all about pirates today. Yeah, pirates are like the double Skull and Crossbones. So there you go. Reminds me of, of Sausage Lug, too. With, with they have their, cro <laughs> their cross Lego sausages. <laughs> oh, so, and so by the way, everybody, I just wanted you to know... We are completely in progress of getting all of the um, the mailers ready to go out. Oh yeah, it's so fun. Um, yeah, so just in ca just in case you want to know what seventy five, and this isn't even all of them. Seventy five so envelopes. We have them all stuffed. We have to seal them up, and they're all addressed and ready to go with with but fun stuff. With stuff, which is very exciting. Yep. So, uh, hey, Walker. Walker, Hi, hey, Walker. Do you like the stream? Awesome. 
Um, so yeah, that's all there's and there's a couple of boxes over there too. My goodness, we've turned into like a like a post like now this room is not only a classroom, a studio, a build room, an office, yeah. and okay. now a mailing center. Okay, so <laughs> here is a peek into um, Tricky Bricks right here. So um, we're sitting on our dining room table that used to be where we built Lego, and we've turned that into a production studio. Yes. So then we got this adjustable table after Lego Masters that raises up and down that was our build space, and we're gonna build our big projects there. And we filled it with all sets that we've built on the show. So then we pulled our five foot folding table out that was our very first build thing, and that's covered with um, the shipping and receiving department right now, right? Yes. We're shipping out all this stuff. So I'm building on my work desk, and Flynn is building on the floor of the living room. So that's it's excitement. How it goes. There's Lego in every room of this house now. <laughs> it's very exciting. So, um, hi, Apples, welcome. Um, okay, so I wanted to, we got some viewer mail. We do. We have, we have exciting viewer mail. And you've already viewer got mail. the viewer mail prop in your hand. Oh, yeah. Right? See? The viewer mail is flying in. It is flying in. And we high have tech graphics. Look at that. That's super high res 3D graphics right there. Well, and I'm going to lump in a couple of things that I got for my birthday, which I thought that you wouldn't do. Well, first of all, I wanted to say thank oh, you again goodness. to everybody who pitched in to get me the Hogwarts castle for my birthday. I I am still so blown away. Can you even carry that by yourself? No, it's so I need heavy. To, you notice I lifted with my knees? I, it was so amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you everyone so much. I just I'm still blown away by that. I just so it's cool. really just so generous, and um, we're going to take you all along on the journey of building it, but um, it would take us three years to do it on the air, so it'll right. just be little intermittent shots. Right? Or, but, and, but you know what I might do, and we haven't talked about this yet, Uh oh. just because Ooh, I know it's something, something that I might be able to do by myself, although yeah. probably not, is I may do some putting together of the Hogwarts Castle on Twitch. Because oh. people expect longer form things on Twitch, and they love like wow. there while you're doing. So maybe well, I maybe could I'll do it on separate bricks for you. Yeah, so maybe I will do it. Maybe I would do it on Twitch, and then we could record it, and then speed that up. Somebody's talking about time lapse it at the oh, end, or yeah, I could yeah. have my phone. Who knows? We can do that. Who knows? I've got yeah, nothing because, but time. Because we'd love to bring you along <laughs> on the journey of building this, like. Awesome set. Um, okay, so <clears throat> that is, I can't even believe that's just so thoughtful. Where's our postmistress? Oh, where is she? Probably Angela? in her office? No, that's not the postmistress. Oh, wait, that's that's Ms. That's Ms. Thing. Let's see, I think she's in her, there we go. Oh, look, she's wearing her. <laughs> so we got some viewer mail. This is, again, this is like, oh, Thank you, Ms. Thing. Um, this, I'm so excited about. My friend Dave, who that also got me this shirt. That was such a lead up to that. Did you like that? <laughs> um, got me the Gremlins Dimension Set. Don't feed them Which after I'm midnight. so excited about. With with Gizmo and Stripe. What? Don't get them wet. So, yeah, I, I won't do that. And I actually I like the little Polaroid camera. It's cute. So this is awesome. So thank you for that. Um, I'll just always remember that one bad gremlin flying around on the on the ceiling fan. Yes, yes. He also got me a um, look. One of the that. winged monkey figures from the Batman uh, from the Batman Lego Movie Two thing. So awesome, um, and a couple of other little little tidbits. Mrs. Potts, is Mrs. In here. Potts from Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> Beauty and the Beast. Um, let's see. So that was... it was a. Oh, yeah. A really and, fun day, wouldn't you say? Yeah, and a bunch of silver things. Yay, silver. You know, I love the silver film, so. Hey, LJ Mark, how's it going? Welcome. Yes, um, this was... Mini that, Fig that Chick was Flying Monkey, right? Isn't that cool? So then we went to the went to the post office Ooh, this morning, and we, we did. think we have some viewer mail. So first of all, we've got... Um, now, this is funny. This is how the mail goes. Yep. This is... Oh, sorry. Thanks, Ms. Thank Thing. Thank you, Ms. Thing. So the, um, this comes all the way from Australia, um, from, um, um, from Harris Bricks. And now, when was it 
ship? When was this that was mailed? mailed. This, you know, this was mailed from Australia on um, July twenty second, and it July just July twenty second. So but, yeah, so if you um, have sent us um, art or anything, um, and we don't read it on the air right away, the mills very is very slow. I said, oh, nice, Dear Flynn nice and Richard, um, please find and close a couple of sets of my stickers for your collection. Keep up the good work. All the best. Dale Harris, Harris Bricks. Thank you, Dale. And we will cover these closer on an on when we next time we have sticker time. But these are his awesome Neo Classic Space sticker set Look that at he that. made. It's so future. Yeah. And I it's love all the rounded rectangles. I use rounded rectangles in my drawings all the time. Look at that. It's in focus now, too. I and like the trajectory around the Earth there. It's really they're, they're really really cool. And can That's I and I gotta generous. tell you, so here is this this crazy coincidence. So um, I posted the article on trickybricks.com about Fabuland and about the of uh, the Fabuland um, Fab Max Furry Road project that we're doing. Mm -hmm. So when, if you want to find out all the details, trickybricks.com. There's a whole article up. With some awesome sample photos by FabuFan MKE, he sent me. Yeah, good um, inspirational shots of vehicles, right? Yep, and there's links to the new elementary articles um, and a picture explaining the um, the color scheme. And new elementary um, is definitely someone to check into, right? They yes. They do deep dives. So I um I was going to uh, I also put a link up to the guy that's doing the the Neo Fabuland stuff. Um, oh, and right, put right. links to his stuff so that you can see. Well, it turns out it's Dale Harris of Harris Bricks. <laughs> the same and one. I didn't even know until I picked up the letter this morning and I look up like, wait, Harris Bricks? I just linked to that and he also <laughs> just like commented on the article on the blog. So I and that sent was... us cool stickers. And sent us stickers. So who knew? Like I didn't put it together until I saw that. So Thank you, Dale, for that awesome. I know that's um, awesome. Awesome uh, little viewer mail. Now this so, all this all came together in a box. Yeah, right? this is all from um, from Shane Dennis Fallen Tree Twenty Three, um, a cute little package, and it says, "Hope your birthday's really something to taco about." And it's a taco. And it's a taco. I do love tacos. And it says, "Celebrate like there's no tamale." <laughs> Dorino, oh, thank you. thanks for the subscription yes thank you Dorino um, I hope you have an amazing birthday Flynn and many more to come um, I hope you enjoy your presents thank you so much um, yes I know Taco Lug will be very excited by this um, and there's a um, a small uh, con a little construction loader city set which I love Super cute, and I it's think always there's, a, there's always work getting done in the city. It's funny right? we have a lot of we have a lot of Lego um, vehicles, but I don't think that we have one of these. Well, so we don't this have this perfect. vehicle. We don't have those yellow wheels either. Yeah, yeah, That's we don't so have cool. the yellow wheels. Um, and that and that custom shovel piece. And then That's we cool. got an Imperial Tie Fighter poly bag. Yay! I know Shane knows how much we love the poly bags. Well, we'll be putting right? these together on the air. And a city, Lego City limited edition. I think this maybe came with one of the magazines, but he's got like a little, looks like yeah, a little security guard this, guy in his little car. The silver packaging is new. Yes, yeah, it's to from me. the, um, it's from the uh, other, sorry, from the magazine. There's a Lego magazine. And, and, and this is crazy. This is again, we'll dynamite go, comes in small packages. We'll go into more of this later, but he also sent stickers. For sticker time that we'll share with you on, on sticker, sticker time. time and there's it's great because there's some doubles in here of some things and um and <laughs> and, and some this, solar panels some that solar I'm panels use. and my the one i'm the most excited about is this um hidden side um grimsmith cove grimsmith i know it's oh, well right, because yes. innsmouth and grimsmith it's yes. so lovecraftian it is very so thank oh, you here. so much Thank you so much, um, Shane, uh, yes, Fallen Three, uh, Fallen Tree Twenty Three, Shane. I will put that over here. Well, that's so thoughtful, and it gives us more stuff to share with you on the show. I can't wait. Sticker Time has some awesome stickers coming up. It does. It does. And speaking well, we have so of much going on today. Speaking of things, um, 
Here, you can go home, Miss it's Thing. Time Thank you very for... much. Thank you for... It's time for one of our features. Oh, do you ever see them in the room together, really? I... That's it's right. Angela. It's Angela and Thing from the Crypt. So today, you know, um, I we have, I'm going to have some coffee. So yes. Ms. Thing leaves and then Angela shows up. I mean, could they be? Mm. I don't know. Yeah, yes. Well, the left hand doesn't know <laughs> what the right hand's doing, right? So, um, <clears throat> yeah, so today. You see, I just floated that one right by. Flint. You did. Right to it barely made a sound. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so... Oh, yeah, get this. Here we go. So I went into the game closet, because we have a game closet. Um, or at least we have a shelf of Oh, games. that's one and place there's no Lego. That is one place there's no Lego. Although I suspect there might be some on a Probably, shelf somewhere. Probably, yeah. Um, it is from 1975, Ideal, the... Mousetrap game, which was when I was a kid, I was obsessed with anything that had tons of moving parts. Like, if yes. it was a game that had like lots of things that you had to set up, I was super into it. And it still has the instructions. How to how to play and Look build the mousetrap like, game. It's like the the ancestor of great ball contraption. Um, yes, it is. It is actually right? absolutely Rube, that Rube Goldberg machine. It's got games. these great like the great instructions on how to like how to put it all together. It's fun. And I always I always remember the basket that comes down to grab the mouse. Yeah, and it still has all the pieces. So it's got the, the, there's like the little ball run. And I actually set it up last night. It was too big for us to actually like. It do, but filled. it still has the small metal ball and the large orange basketball piece. The whole thing. Um, the whole thing. It's um, it's really. It was really fun. I used to love this. It even got all four of the mice. The little uh, the little mice. Well, we'll have parts. to play. But there, um, there you go. It is. That's I mean, the, the thing from the crypt. And uh, although not quite, yeah, yeah, not quite done. I just wanted oh. to share with you this. Oh yeah, this is, and it's all punched out for How all the pieces, right? Awesome. This board is. We hold the graphic up closer. So I was running into the upper camera, but yeah. So check out this. These great graphics. Oh, it's backwards. That's weird. Is it? In the camera, it is. Yeah, I don't know why. There you oh, go. Oh, funny. Um, oh, maybe it's backwards to us, right? Because I'm over here, but I'm over there. Over here. Maybe. Yeah, and it's in. It's actually in. It's glass. actually in really good condition. So yeah, there you go. Look at that. The boxes and all smushed. Mouse trap, 1975 from Ideal, and you can see there you, you so you would turn this crank, and it would start off a chain reaction. This little stop sign would move. It would hit this boot, which would kick a bucket and send a marble down the stairs, which would then go down. Uh, this little whatever slide thing it would hit this like thing of hands holding up a bathtub and it would cause this to move upwards and drop this ball down into the bathtub the bathtub has a hole in it which would then drop down onto On this seesaw, seesaw right? which would cause this guy to jump into the pool and then it would the vibration of it would make this little bell thing come down and land on the mouse before the mouse got away before it get, before <laughs> while we're just sitting there i know in the time that it take it took for that to happen yeah. like you could have um it, you know the the mouse would have run away like 36 times well it's, it's so <laughs> yes so and there must have been gameplay functions so that you don't set it all up immediately, right? Like yes. you set up some and then others. So um, we're so, going to be bringing you lots of things from the crypt. So just so you know, I saw somebody yeah. asking about. Um, I saw somebody asking about the link to the Fabuland article. Just go to trickybricks.com. Oh, yeah. The front page of trickybricks.com is all of the articles, the little blog articles I've written. It's the first one on the page, super easy to find. It's kind of the, it'll be the central hub for all things Tricky Bricks. Yeah, and we, you know, it may evolve. So, I'm but, sure. But yeah, so there you go. Um, so there you go, right? Look at that. We, we've taken a wide tour around different, we have, actually, we have Lego news, too. We do? 
Oh, I wasn't ready for that. Oh, uh, well, we can we can tell you. Um, no, I can. I just gotta find it real quick. Okay, so... cool. So let's have Emmett come back and give people a little <laughs> bit of joy. There, right? Is Emmett gonna focus? Hi, everyone. That's my Emmett voice. I'm no Chris Pratt. That was your Emmett voice? Well, I'm not gonna try and do an impression of Chris Pratt doing Emmett. No. That's probably best. Right? Yeah, I think that's probably best. Um, okay, so we do have a little this bit is of cool. news. So here we go. Um, our news, of course, again from Brothers Brick. But Lego is now producing Braille bricks. Now, we've known that these were coming for a little while. Um, but now they are actually out and available. So um, really, really great. That's so cool. Um, yeah, so... And so the... So Braille must tell you the color that it is, and then you make out the size just from feeling the size. Well, I, yeah, I'm not. I I'm imagining that they'll be able to use it to be able to like spell things out um, with them because it tells you like what the number and the the letter is. Oh well, that's on so it. cool. Um, so it's like teaching Braille through. Like, it's just it's really really cool. Um, in twenty countries. I don't know if you can buy them in the website yet. I just know it says that they're, um, yeah. It says that the uh, additional language versions will launch over the next six months. They're doing it in si launching it in six languages, including Danish, Norwegian, English, Portuguese, German, and French. Got it. So, right. they're, so they're like alphabet bricks, right? They they teach tactile sensitivity and each one is like a little letter yeah exactly that's so, great yeah really cool what fun. all right so there you go da, 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 da. braille i think that's really cool see there's always Where's i got it list? we Here's see lego one. news all the time and so often it's that company doing something cool for people <laughs> right um i yeah they've been doing a lot of really amazing outreach work and and stuff like that lately it's been pretty incredible yep and mm. we have a contest today. Not a contest, a um, a challenge. We do have a challenge uh, that we're, we're getting to. Oh, we um, have so many, uh, so many special. So events before today. we, you no, know, before we go on to this week's challenge, I wanted to share oh, one that's from right. last week's challenge <laughs> that didn't make it in. Steve Parmley sent this in, um, and I think we can all appreciate it, especially lately, because I just got to tell you there are tons of fires in California right now. Yeah. And, like, you know, we used to go out for walks, and now yeah. you go out for walks and it smells like smoke, so oh my um, goodness. I will say that this, I, and I don't even think that it needs to be said, like, what this is, but this pretty much encapsulate, <laughs> encapsulates there we go. many of this my is, of 2020. This is Steve's monochrome challenge. <laughs> so this was, his, this was his monochrome challenge piece, and we did allow the eyes... So yep. he took advantage of that. That's great. <laughs> and it's so nicely photographed, too. It's too real, too real. <laughs> <laughs> Bond tree 23. Oh, my goodness. A Hershey's yeah, Kiss. Yeah, Moto, it's our Hershey's Kiss. Yeah, yeah, it's a Hershey's Kiss. Go right ahead. <laughs> Just wrap that up in some foil. Oh, my goodness. All right. So thank you, Steve. That's that was, awesome, um, Steve. Thanks. That's, um, love that. Okay, my goodness. I hope we're hitting all of the, we're all, hitting so. all the notes. I you think actually, we are. You made a script. I did make a script. And not only is there a script, but I wanted to give um, a special shout out to Maraid. And I don't know if she's here, but um, Maraid took care of the slideshow this week. I showed yep. her how to do it last night. She did it, and it was ready for me in my, my email box this morning. Yeah. So I want to give a big shout-out. Thank you to her. Um, and, and wow. I think doing the slideshow is actually... Um, you'd be surprised. Um, it's kind of like a game of mousetrap, right? Like you, <laughs> there is, There's a lot of moving parts. With there, are, there are a lot of moving parts, and so I super, super appreciate that. And it helps the... Uh, the news desk. Whoops. Oops. Helps the news desk run more smoothly, if you will. Um, and Flynn and I were able to finish our builds too. We were able to finish our builds. Didn't get to photograph them, but we were able to finish them. Um, oh, yep. Yeah, um, Rob, they were fine. I just happened to notice when I was um, going through them to do. I I, do, I try to do cropping and some things before yeah. I process them for 
for sh the show. And I just noticed they were like really, really tiny. So it's all good. Yeah, and these are full size now, right? Yes, yes. All right, yes, this week all hands were on deck. Yes, Holly. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it's true. All right, so let's go ahead and start. I don't <laughs> We're going to fire this thing up, all what right? What to say? Grandpa's going to get Look his glasses that. on. Bold type and everything. I know. It's very exciting. All right, so why don't we go ahead and head over to that slideshow. Here we go. So Pirates. This uh, Obviously, our theme this week was pirates. Um, I wanted to go. Uh, this is from Fourth World Adam. And Fourth World Adam. Uh, ooh, let's... Deep breath. Okay. Mm. Deep breath. Sip of coffee. Power down. Mm -hmm. Power back up. Turn it off and turn it back on again. I mean, it's... tried turning it off and back <laughs> on again. It's not functioning. Oh, my god. Can goodness. I fix something for you? Mm. Okay. Fourth World Adam says, Ahoy, Flynn and Richard. I wanted to go a little outside the box with this build, and my submission matches up two of my three favorite themes, space and pirates. This is my first ever brick-built hull, and it was a definite oh, cool. lesson in patience and perseverance. Brickanista was a big help and offered tons of encouragement, so I wanted to publicly thank her here on the Tricky Bricks channel. Oh, that's great. Um, thanks for allowing me to participate in this fun challenge and keep them coming. So, um, there are a couple think of, of shots. Blacktron, right? It is yes, yes. It's a it is a it's a Blacktron pirate ship. I love those those um, translucent yellow green saucer as pieces. As the sails, yeah. it's brilliant. It's really, really, really brilliant. And it's very sci-fi with like all the dishes in front. Yeah, it's. And there's a nice side view of it. It's really, it's really, really terrific. It's like the sci-fi Flying Dutchman. <laughs> I'm a big fan. First, I it's love so this cool. so much. And it's I love really, the really the, Brit, uh, the sort of on the back there where the captain is. Oh, yeah, is. you mean there? Yeah, that's <laughs> what I'm talking about. Uh, so, yeah, and I nice love that he... Thanks. It was, uh, you helped. And an eye patch. And an eye patch. I love of the course. old school pirate faces. Yeah, really, um, a lot of fun for Fourth World, Adam. Thank you so much. What a fun submission. <laughs> I know. Um, you know who will like this is Blair Archer. Will be a big fan. Oh of this. yeah, he makes great things with translucent green. I'd love to see that piece under blacklight. This is from Albert Lee. The infamous pirate Elliot Elephant has found a new treasure map. Together with his first mate. Reginald Rhino and his hardy crew, Wendell and Wolf and Christopher Cheetah, they sail together to find buried <laughs> treasure aboard their ship, the infamous Panda Express. Of course. <laughs> this Albert, is, this is wonderful. This is such a wonderful, fun build, and I love that you use the Chima pieces. I know you love Chima, I do. Richard. And look, this is my favorite shot here. You see the fronts of the sails blowing in the wind. Yeah, it's um, it's really terrific. And those pieces, those rounded pieces that we yeah. usually use for like the underside of a rocket or the, or a, the front side of a rocket, we've got the bird up there, and I love the dolphin. Um, yeah, the dolphin swimming next to it is really, really and, great. And you know, it's such a um, it's such a polished piece. You barely see studs anywhere except on the face of the sails, and I think that actually gives them more action and movement. It's beautiful, I love Albert. It. It's, it's a really polished piece. It's so good. It's so good. Yeah, I know. I thought it was Fabuland too at first, and no, it is actually Chima. Yeah, so there smaller you go. scale. I love Chima. Yep. Um, okay. Oh, yeah, the brick-built anchor. You're right, um, WGJL. That is really great. There's just so many little details in here that I want to, like, look at. It has a very toy quality, right? Like, yeah. you want to float this in the bathtub. <laughs> Absolutely. It's awesome. All right. Um, let's see here. The panda exp... Oh! And what, a, and what, what, what? A, and, uh, Sorry, and a panda... Oh, I guess you're head. right. It is the panda figurehead. It's awesome. That's great. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that's great. Very funny. Okay, so this is from Amanda Mitchell. From her basement geek den, Captain Haxor and her crew pirate all the music on the open seas of the internet. <laughs> Images feature a gratuitous server rack glamour shot. And don't we have um, don't we have the all seeing eye oh, of Sauron right there? Yes, yes, this is beautiful. Yeah, nice. 
Nice server rack. Yeah, the dots monitor screen is great. Corey Kinnick, hey Corey, you're like the king That's of great. dots these I love days. The, you know your dots. I love the shallow um, depth of field here. And that chair is pretty cool too with the square base. Well, you know who this makes me think of? Amy. Yes. Of course. <laughs> Amy DD, right? This is so, this is very Amy. I love it. It's so great. I'm going to have to share this with her. Um, it's really and fantastic. And even down to blue hair. And she'll love the server rack. She'll be very excited by that. Hey, Core YT, how's it going? Um, yeah, the grills on the server rack. It's all, it's all fantastic. Lightsabers, of course. Oh, the little, I love all of the helmets and the, the little things on the wall. It's great. And is that, are these, um, what are soda those cans? cylinders? I was thinking those I'm are guessing. like used soda cans from programming, right? <laughs> Trashed monster cans. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this next one is, um... Oh, this is from Amber. Super colorful. But apparently there was there was no description that came along with it. It was just the photos. So um, we can... Oh, how fun. Well, is My the... goodness. Is this part of that... Yes, it looks like a... Oh, yeah, we can see the dishes in the background there, right? On the... On the Got it. Face. Yes, yes, yes. Really cool. Oh, and look, there's our... There's our uh, Pirate in the front there. Pirate uh, hat right in the front. Oh, it's Monica Berry. There we go, Monica. All right. Sorry. It's a, it had um. And wow. Did you look work at the with this floor. On the, I know the floor tiling is amazing. Really, really amazing. Thank you, Monica, so much. This is so fantastic. Super I love it. Colorful. Ain't no party like a pirate party. <laughs> <laughs> and of of course, Unikitty is very into it. Beyond Imaginable. That's a new name I've ever seen before. Hi, welcome. welcome. Welcome, welcome. And yes, there is Clicky. Clicky is Oh, Clicky and is Clicky here. looks pretty cheerful. <laughs> this is so great. Thank you so much, Monica. Metal Beard is hiding in there. Where is Metal Beard? I see a pirate hat in the foreground. I don't see Metal Beard. I see a llama. Oh, a llama girl. It's really fun. There's Rocket Raccoon in the background. <laughs> All right. Super fun pirate party. Oh yeah, look, there's a little, it's a little bit more. Look, there's a, there's a Logan cookie time, and this actually <laughs> does have a description. So my bad. In a party like a pirate party, Metal Beard and all his friends are celebrating Flynn, Corey, Monica Berry, and all the August birthdays. Clicky is on the grill. Unikitty brought some sweets. Logan is enjoying cookie time. I thought that was Yay, Logan. Hey, Logan. Um, um, Puppy Corn is mixing tunes, and everyone is dancing and having a good time. The three unfamiliar characters are my family's first minifig bin figs from Legoland. Oh, Their names fun. are Silly, McGiggy Face, and, and Kara. I'll post more <laughs> detailed pictures on my Instagram. McGiggy Face. I, this, of course. Well, this is delightful. Thank you so much, Hal fun is this i'm in love with that floor tile there <laughs> this is fantastic all right this is called our this is from avernus workshop called obvious treasure island <laughs> fun fact robert lewis stevenson originally wrote treasure island as a short story so he wanted to make the treasure obvious enough that any pirate could find it these pirates might still need some help. <laughs> <laughs> There's an arrow pointing right at it. Yeah, this is um, this is really, 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 really fun. They do seem a little confused, don't they? They do, and like, like they're the... standing on the street corner looking at their map. And the big X, <laughs> <laughs> X with like, an like... arrow pointed right at it. I love the top shot. This is really, this is really fun. It's even got like stuff pointing to it. It's like, it's all right here, you guys. Well, it's like <laughs> in, in D and D Flynn and I, neither one, our characters are very intelligent. They have lots of other charms, but intelligence isn't one of them. So standing, like standing over the, um, over the treasure there, that seems familiar. That's right. I know. We're, You're very I know clever. it's right here somewhere. <laughs> 
really fun. Thank you. And I love that you um your your base plate construction makes me think of the colored base plate, the old school colored base plates. Um, oh yeah, where they had panels where they painted, on them, where they painted them. They're really, really, really cool. All right. So this is from Ben. Ben Dirty. And I am looking through my glasses, which I have. Are oh, you had head? them. Are they I on did. your head? No. no, they're right there. Ha, ah, thank you. The Adventures of Brickbeard, Volume 1. After pillaging a merchant ship, Captain Brickbeard is on the run from the Imperial Navy. Knowing he might be captured, he decided to bury his treasure so no one but him would ever get it if he was captured. Will the Imperial Navy catch up to Captain Brickbeard or will he escape? Find out next week on another great Tricky Bricks live stream. <laughs> this is great. I like um actually the uh the translucent bin in the background is like a fog bank. I know it's pretty <laughs> great, and I love the um the forced perspective of it is fantastic. Yeah, the pirate guy there is very the captain's very far away. Yeah, it's really fun. The palm trees are great. Yeah, I like the coconuts in the palm trees. Yeah, well, and just the way that it's lined up is like the boat and then the treasure chest and then him in the back yeah. behind it. It's set up really, really well. Well, I'm a fan of wide angle because it puts it right, you know, it makes it so much more action. All right. There's a sentence there somewhere. There is. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ben. It's like hidden treasure. It Hidden treasure. Um, okay, so this Ooh, fun. is from Brickanista. Super Sewer Baby has been so excited to be working with Brickanista on her pirate ship as he rides on one of her flags. Um, there, uh, Vermi and Batman are on the top deck where Batman spies on the horizon a little pink boat where Ice Ice, Ice Baby and the janitor have been following them. <laughs> Brickanista suspects it has to do with her recent shark hunting expedition as there is a shark also following alongside the boat next to the janitor. The crew is headed to the island of the Little Forest Friends to get some advice from an old friend. Stay tuned for another adventure of Super, Super Sewer, Sewer Baby! Baby. <laughs> sorry, I hope I didn't blow your I, uh, no, eardrums sorry. We out. I don't mean to shout in your living rooms. This ship is wonderful. Look at all the Palisades bricks in the tower on the back. Bye, Ben. Thanks for your submission. Um, yeah, of course, this is going to be fantastic. Now, I expected nothing less from Brickanista um, with, uh, with pirates. Like, I yep. knew this was going to be right there in her wheelhouse. The so. rigging there, you know, what a great brick-built ship. Yeah, it was super fun. And I love the, I love how it's like, it's like, sh it's short. It's short front to back, but very steep. It takes good advantage of vertical space. And it looks like the same shape as you know there's that Lego fish that looks like a fish statue that's got the oh, tail yeah. flipped up in the air. That's it makes me think of that. And I One love the shark hanging off. It's pretty great. Classic koi shapes. And all of our cast of characters. Yeah, it's really it's, it's super fun. Nice flags too. Oh yeah. I don't even know what those are, but they're great. But they're awesome. Like some and I love of... the blue uh, the blue blanket as the water. It has to be has great texture yeah. to it. All right. This is from Brickworm. Yay! <laughs> it says squawk. I'm not going to do it. My a parrot squawk. Okay, I'll just, just be embarrassing. Save, save but... your voice. I will for later. Um, this is such a fun. Brickworm got such a great. Um, that has such a well, a great aesthetic and a great feel for animal shapes. Like yeah. they're always really great. Um, really, really real shapes. Hey, Beyond Imaginable, um, I'm so glad this is your first time here. I'm sure that everybody in the chat will give you a warm, tricky lug welcome to Beyond Imaginable, uh, a new viewer. So welcome. We are, uh, every week we do a challenge, a build challenge. Uh, this particular build challenge was pirate theme, and so we are going through everybody's submissions for the yeah, pirate theme. On Friday we do a slideshow of everything yes. people submit. And, and, and we will, we will tell you our very well planned out theme challenge for this week um, when we get to the end of the slideshow. We will. Um, you know, um, I see a piece like this, and, and I know it's such an old thing. Oh, you built a great thing. Where are the instructions? Do you have instructions? I would love instructions for this. I know. It makes I me want to reverse engineer it. little set. It's beautiful. It's really great. And I love the colors, especially. Yeah, yeah the color palette is... I haven't seen that 
Uh, I haven't seen all of these used together in this way before. Me either. Perfect for a pirate and a, a parrot pirate. And not only is it an awesome parrot pirate, but it's also a really nice photo. It is. It's just a really good. It photo. is. It's one of those where you have to look at it like, was this a render? <laughs> it's really great. It's really good. And the, right. and the classic pirate piece, just you know, the classic pirate face, I always love. So this is from um, this is from Chris and Son, Chris Chalice and Son. Pirates that pirate. Films, that is. <laughs> With their bank of video recorders, they are a bit old school. Captain Pugwash has got his crew working on new films, but one of his crew has had an idea that it would be easier with a small camera, as the one he got is too big to get into the cinema. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. I love all the dials in the background and the, and the grills. It's fun. Um, and I actually used to have my first uh, internship in the film industry was um, degaussing videotapes at a at an editing facility. So we would have banks of decks <laughs> like that. This is very funny. Oh yeah, remember that back in the day when you would get the videotapes and there would be that like stern warning at the beginning that was like, "Don't pirate this videotape." Yeah, followed by "Be kind, rewind." <laughs> oh jeez, yeah. It was that. Oh, that's true. It's you couldn't fast forward past it or anything. It's like you mm -mm. have to watch the, the warning about piracy. Oh Yay, yes, again. this is this is a favorite. This is from from Citrus Bricks, Captain Clicky and the crew cruise along the Caribbean coast. <laughs> it is brilliant. Look at that jaunty pose there. I know. I mean, just like the pose, the facial expression. The clickiness of it all. It is true. The brick built pirate hat. Yeah, this is. <laughs> it's great. I love the proportion of the whole thing. He's got absurdly large shoulders, or maybe shoulder pads. This is so good. It's great. I'm so... That just the proportion of the whole thing is wonderful. I'm so all about Captain Clicky. <laughs> And using using the crane hook for his hook hand too. Well, it's all it's just brilliant, and I love that he has like the big shoulders and kind of like it. I don't know. He's got shape. Now I want to do got a, legs. Now we have to do a series of articulated clickies because this is. I think we this has just started a new trend. Citrus bricks. Wow, that he sounds may have started like a, a new trend. Like a techno band articulated clicky. <laughs> like you know, a noise band. <laughs> All right. This is super fun. Yeah. And the peg leg as well. Everything so well proportioned. Yeah, really dead on. I can this see so searching good. through the orange bricks. Do I have the orange bricks to do this? <laughs> Are clickulated. Oh. oh, my goodness. JMW Someone music. Someone had to Somebody's do that. been hanging out with Shane LeVan too much. <laughs> <laughs> And by the way, that's not a bad thing because you hanging out with Shane LeVan is pretty awesome. I'm just saying. All right. So this is from Cornado. Loosely translated, the scroll tells the tale of a pirate that stole the captain's treasure and took it overboard to the nearest deserted island. It also says that when the thief pirate finally got the treasure chest open, the captain's treasure was his late mother's tea set. <laughs> Oh. The joke was on the stranded thief, as the tea set has no monetary value. Finally, the scroll says that another ship hasn't come by in days, maybe a week. It's like it's been a rough week. I know. <laughs> that is so good. I love it. Excuse me, one moment, please. I I'm, I just love the um. The <laughs> I just love the story. It's so good and so clever, and just really like out. Like, outside of what you would think. I don't know. It's just perfect. The, it's well, great. the tea set, right? Yes, the tea set. <laughs> Wait, do I remember? Were the Swiss family Robinson able to... They Didn't they preserve their tea set? They preserved some... They preserved everything. Yeah, they I were, know. They, they were better than good... Gilligan. Well, I mean, they were supposed to only pack for a three-hour tour. Are you going to bring... Although, I wouldn't put it past Mrs. Howell to have brought a tea set, because, my goodness, they certainly brought everything else. I think else. half their budget was corsets. <laughs> the Swiss Family Robinson. Oh, on Swiss Family Robinson was a like Gilligan's Island. No, it's called no, ping, that was per, ping per, back and forth. furs and bikinis. Speaking of fur, of oh really? I think it might be time for a special visitor.
That's right, everyone. Whoa, Whoa. he is super Look on it that. today. He, he burned out. It's living <laughs> cookie time. We did a spin out. Here, we'll break this in half. Good boy. <laughs> oh my goodness, Ooh, he's so excited. These are excited. crunchy. Look and at the camera. The Look, right there. See, he's wagging his tail. And, and today's Logan Cookie Time is sponsored by Andrew Hornberger. Thank you, Hornbergers. <laughs> Can you catch? Good one. Yay. Good boy, Two, Logan. That's just three. There that's you it. go. He has it. You have the container still oh, open. I that's do. why. Here. You oh, get one the, more. The other half. Sound of happiness, everyone. <laughs> All right. I always like Logan Cookie Time, I and I know it's a treat. Logan does too. <laughs> All right, here, where are we going to get back to that slideshow? Here we go. I know you have a million scenes now. Oh no, it didn't. We're, we're going to get a fast forward. Are we going to get a fast forward? I think so. It was supposed to pause it and go back to the. Let's see. You might you might see things a second time. Yeah, we're gonna there. blaze by. Here we go. Sorry, everybody. Here we go. Well, we're I want to take at cool stuff again. I want to take all these and put them together, right? In in. Well, our our. Yes. Fab Max layout's gonna be a bunch of pieces that go together. Last time on the Tricky Brick slideshow. <laughs> I think we He's still here. sitting there with his with tea. Corn with Cornado. All right. Nice. Pirates. Um, okay. Uh, Debo, this is from Debo Bricks, and this is Pirate. The new hit reality baking competition in which pirates <laughs> rate pies from I to R. <laughs> Hosted by Diane Keaton because of course. Because of course, Diane Keaton. Um, Tattoo Ian really hopes the judges like his coral pie. <laughs> if it turns out that the judges hate it, they have the option of dropping a shark on the contestant. Oh my goodness. <laughs> they have always taken the option. Of course they would. <laughs> pie rate coming this fall to Channel 62 right after Wheel of Fish. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is great. This is so inventive. Oh, and look, they have their little confidence monitors there. It's just so ridiculous. <laughs> and, I mean, not only that, but the R is a piece of cherry pie R. with the with the lattice work um, the Crust, top right? on it. It's really... <coughs> this is this was not the obvious choice for the challenge. Yeah, this is really fun <laughs> and and yeah, it's just and like went so far out there. I, I love, love the it. letters. The A is done very cleverly. <laughs> I know. Oh, really good. I want to uh, I want to go on that show. <laughs> and you can see I think yeah, and you can see the shark, right? Oh, it's <laughs> ready at the to the very drop. top like ready to drop <laughs> down. Oh my god. Oh, the A is a ship. Of course it is. Very nice. Wow. Well, this is oh, brilliant. Oh, of course. Yeah, you can see the uh because it's behind her her yep. pirate hat. Oh, nice. Oh my goodness, that was good. That was and good pies. Oh, uh, this oh, you know, adorable. I was looking through them before. Um this is from Fabby Fan MKE. An epic pirate battle plays out during Wilfred Walrus's bath time. This is <laughs> so great. Super just fun, fun, fun. Oh, and look at that. I want that faucet. What is that faucet piece? That is a Fabuland faucet piece. We and need the Fabuland faucet. Do you know what we have? I just I recently discovered we have a Fabuland sink. Mm. We have this weird piece that I found. I was like, this is cool. It looks like Lego. I'll hang on to it. It turns out it's a Fabuland sink. And Ooh. it get but it, it is missing the little uh the little uh, faucet part on it, but we do have the sink, which is cool. I love the um, the large tiled floor in the same color palette yes, there. Yes, yes, yes. And so, and also, what is the um, that tile? Is that a Fabuland tile? It's a really great tile. Oh, of the art, the the, the little art on the in wall in the background. Yes. Well, I am the walrus. Cuckoo Kachu says. Yes. <laughs> there you go. All right. Cuckoo Kachu. Um. I feel my phone oh. is being ridiculous. Okay, there we go. 
This was great. So Fabby Fan MK, awesome, excellent work as always. Super Look fun. Look at the little sails are super clever. Yeah, the the micro ships are great. I love the I love the the hot tub is hilarious. Um, and there you can see right like this is the perfect example of how um, you can take Fabuland that's not Fabuland and incorporate it into make it because they didn't have a Fabuland hot tub, but it completely yeah. works in the in the world, right? So and also I I think the choice of brick length in the wall back there is very nice. You get those clean wide surfaces. Yes. It's not made of. I mean, you have to have the bricks to do it, but I think that's very clean work. Yes. Oh, um, oh, beyond imaginable. We will let you know how to submit your builds after the slideshow is over. There's a couple ways you can do that. Yep, and we're just starting a new one today. Oh, this is so great. Um, this is from uh, this is Fem from the Block, um, Yano. So I gotta say, your lighting game is spot on. Like yep. all of your stuff lately has been such incredible lighting. Like super, super excited about. Well, that. it reminds me of Dario Argento lighting. It is, you kind know, of, but less horrifying. No, these aren't horrifying <laughs> pieces. It also, um, who are those painters? Um, two painters who work together and they put little like tiny sparkles all over. Oh, everything. um, uh, like I know. photo painters. Yes, I know you're talking about those guys. Those ones, yeah. But Pierre Gilles. Pierre Gilles, exactly. It does have a very Pierre Gilles quality. I love the bubbles. And that is those columns filled with tiles. And with it clear looks like tiles. one uh, one by one clear round tiles. Right. right. And then set up almost like a stage set, set up going back together so you get like um, the bigger bubbles in yeah, front and the depth. smaller in back. And then is there maybe a bubble pattern paper behind that? I, or I bet you it's a screen. I'll bet you it's a screen. Oh. And right. look, there's that anglerfish piece that's so awesome. Uh, here. With some bones. With some bones, because of course. And then there's your pirate skeleton. With this the is net. so brilliant. This and is... the, the, the treasure chest with stuff spilling out of it. This also reminds me of the best kinds of window displays, right? Like this yes. real, like creating 3D in a pretty shallow space. Yep. It's really beautiful. There's great design. Um, the, pack, the background is a guitar pearl pick guard. Oh, oh! That is so cool. See, I thought it was a screen. Look at me. What do nice. I know? So beautiful. Really nice. Very, very, very good. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's see. That's a great photograph that would look pretty framed. Yeah. It's um, Oh, and sorry. It was called The Revenge of the Curse of the Treasure of the Mermaid. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's so good. Um, okay. So this is from Isaac. Isaac says, Little Liam wanted to be a pirate before he was even a glimmer in his parents' eyes. He dreamt of a glorious life of marooning, hornswoggling, plundering, and swashbuckling. <laughs> Turns out that growing up to be a sea dog on the high seas isn't too common in the 21st century. So he recently turned to an elaborate form of piracy instead, illegally downloading the latest blockbuster movies in his bedroom late at night. Oh, naughty. Blockbuster, no less. <laughs> Yeah. Look at this furniture. I am super, super into the details in this room. All right. Yeah, the um the stand that the that the parrot is on, the the really clever panel door. Well, and you know how I feel about um pieces that have no studs showing. I love yeah, pieces that have no studs clean. showing. And that this door is great. took a I think that's a lot of work. There's sideways building there, you know, that's great. Oh, you know, you're right that um, that uh, the parrot stand is a great use of pieces. That's really fantastic. So is that that's a jumper plate with a telescope with what is on top of the telescope? It's that three pronged. We have a ton of them. It's that three pronged Ninjago. Um, oh, like the trident, the thing. trident thing. But it's really tall in the middle. And I think he put that down there and then the, the middle spike went inside the stud hole of the oh, parrot. Oh, yeah. Really, really, and nice, really great. Clean windows. You get that little edge of the window frame on the left, but the curtains in front of it. Yeah, and I love the little bed, and and I love that he has a barrel because he really wants because to be a pirate. Because he's into pirates. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful build. This was really, um, really, really nicely done. Yeah, and again, well photographed. So many. Um, I should almost stop saying well photographed because there's so much of you know people. Are, just do great photographs of their pieces. Yeah. Very beautiful. 
No. Oh, this is great. Yes, and then there's the the lighting effect is hilarious. Yay! That is so brilliant. I can hear right now. Like, <laughs> He's Lee done. Are you still up? I know. Are you still up? I can see the light under the door. <laughs> <laughs> what fun! Oh my goodness! You love it. Love it. Love it. Those blockbuster movies. I know. Okay, so this is Whoa. from J.D. Birdwell, who says, I call this mock Black Schooner. Ship is almost four feet long and the water Whoa. world man on the back. 38 different minifigs doing various tasks. Two monkeys monkeying it around. 16 nine-pound cannons. Two three-pound cannons. Oh, my goodness. This is someone who knows ships. 20-plus sabers. 20-plus blunderbusses. One detachable boat. One octopus invading the back. 11 cut sails. One is custom. Uh, one French sailor sent overboard, one super mean kraken looking for dinner. <laughs> wow. Only one of those sails is custom? That is a crazy collection of sails. Yeah, well, I think those are all from the Black Pearl, I would guess. This wow. is crazy. That's so scary. Yeah, it's really... That that terrifies me. Well, and, and I got it, you know, of course... From our uh, our explosion challenge on Lego Masters, we did the tentacles coming up with yes. those dishes. And I love the detail, too, that they put a tentacle on the other side of the ship as well. Wrapping so you get up the around. feeling that it's coming around rather than just in front. Yeah. And that spiral dish as the eye is brilliant. It's yeah. a really, really great use of pieces. Well, this is a lot of building in a week-long challenge. Like, this is... I love the the deck on the back. I know. You must be a fast builder because that is amazing. Um, it's, yeah, really, really beautiful. Yeah, and the white details on the posts along the side, I think, help it to not get lost in a sea of black. Right? Mm -hmm. They give it nice contrast. <clears throat> Yay! Action oh, shot. really great. Yeah, this is super fun. Yep. Wow. That ship is so big. Yeah, and in this close-up shot, you can see more of the details of the side of the ship there. Yeah, it's a it's beautiful. Let me see. Very good. All right. Yeah, how long did this take? Um, uh, because wow, this is like a, this looks uh, long. Very good. All right, thanks, Big Screen Bird. Awesome. How long did it take you to build that? Okay, this is from JMW Music. What kind of piracy madness is this? Planet X marks the spot. The nefarious star Captain Claw has followed his GPS, galactic positioning system, okay. to this spot where he opens a treasure chest with cosmic riches, the likes of which no Earthling has ever known. Through this build, I finally made progress on a lighting technique I've been working on involving Yay. shining a flashlight through translucent bricks plates or studs to create a colored lighting effect. Well, it works perfectly. It's really great. It's great. I love all the shine on the side walls. Makes me think of like alien. Well, and of course it makes me it also it also makes me think of um I know and I've mentioned this before, but it makes me think of Repo Man. Repo Man because <laughs> they open the, they trunk, open of the, the car. trunk. Exactly. Ah, but nobody's getting disintegrated here, thank goodness. No, poor Harry Dean Stanton. But this is I think this is great and that minifig face is kind of terrifying yeah what is that huge wide like, I mean, that's frog a giant mouth. Mouth. it's really really great it's very good wow 10 years that's a long time working on that ship my goodness yeah that that's awesome good job bird very good this is um this is great jmw music i love it john you always do fun stuff and i love that people are pushing themselves um with the lighting and stuff like well, that. Well, I think in this case, using the, um, especially because of the lighting effect, the backside of those plates becomes a wonderful set piece. All right. So, this is from Joshua <laughs> and Jordan Zender. Um, it says, it got a lot bigger than we planned, I understand. <laughs> um, but the story is, the Crimson Pirates, led by none other than Sir Meltzalot, have one of Snow Cone Island's ships, the Frost Queen. So the Frosty Crusaders, led by Sir Frost Cream, are trying to recover the boat, but a storm has carried them to the Mystic Sea, and the sharks are chopping at bits of both crews. Um, is this the end? Who knows? I haven't thought that far ahead yet. <laughs> I understand that. Check out that. the 
Check out the icebergs. That <laughs> it's a pretty great, and I think we get some other shots of it too. Yeah. Wow, I hope that shark can't climb steps. Wow. Whoops. Nope. Oh, it's just the two. Okay. Sorry. Um, I thought there was. An, I love this, and I love yeah. the um that big boat piece is really cool. Whatever that. I know like, it's huge. Yeah. It's almost like a sand bucket. It's really big. I did the same thing. I actually used a pre-made like. Ski, I don't know, like motorboat type thing. I don't even know where it came from, but it was fun. Well, one thing I really like about this um, as well is all of the off angles. Mm -hmm. You know, by setting the, the icebergs and the ship um, at an angle to those plates, I think it adds a lot more interest compositionally. And then there's the tiny island in the background. Too. Well, and then, of course, there's also, I am loving the return of Sir Frost Cream. Um, yep. And, yeah, Sir Further Melt's Adventures. Lot, the further Adventures of... That's a great sale, too. I can see how a piece like this gets bigger and bigger, right? <laughs> and you want to make a background for it, and you're like, oh, no, we need bigger plates. Yeah, and the clouds in the sky are great. Really good. Yeah, super dimensional. All right. Oh, this is a Speaking great shot. Speaking of dimensional. So this is... And a Lowell sphere. I know. Um, wait, is this right? Oh, uh, no. I think this is different. Okay, this is... um. Oh, okay, so no, this is from the same person. So Christopher uh, Christopher Koster turned in two different things. They were just mixed up on here. Got it. Um, everyone loves pirates and space, and what's better than the ultimate space pirates battle, a.k.a. Star Wars? <laughs> um, Star Wars! The Donnie Imperial, Page um, following. Yes, thank Thanks. you, Donnie Page. Uh, the Imperial Star Destroyer has caught up to the Rebel fleet and have engaged in a battle against the Tantive Five. Oh, no, four, sorry. Oh, my goodness. The shields are down on the ISD, and the Rebels have scored a direct hit. The battle for the new oh planet has begun. Who will win this new world for their collection? Beautiful. I don't know. I love tiny spaceships, and there's a lot going on with this. The, the one in the foreground... Uh, the white one has all that sideways built business in the front. Yeah, it's really, and, and all the little clear, the little pew pews. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then building a Lowell Sphere is challenging enough on its own, but doing it with color blocking takes some time and, and forethought. It melts my brain, because we did that with our werewolf clock, has a half, like a half and half, and that half was... And half and oh, half, and that's hard goodness. enough, but yeah, making oceans and continents, nice work on the Lowell Sphere. Oh, beautiful. Okay, so this is Christopher's other one. Um, ahoy, ahoy, mateys. We are off to the coast of Haiti. Yo-ho, yo-ho, yo-ho. It's a battle at the sea. We left the tavern so long ago, wow. and I forgot to pee. <laughs> oh, oh, I see. It's in verse. There's treasure to be had, but you must act fast, me lad, for the one who's lost is crooked, and the pirate that finds it is hooked. It's about time we find this booty so I can get home to my cutie. Question, why don't pirates shower before they walk the plank? I don't know. Because they'll just wash up on shore later. Oh, perfect. Tricky little humor. How did the pirate get his ship so cheaply? I don't know. He bought it on sale. Oh. <laughs> and so all of that and a brilliant build. And so um, he's so, oh, sorry about that. Um, so you said it took him about three hours. I can see that. It's I, it would have taken me really, longer than that. Really beautiful. I love the cannons on the side. Each the striping. ship would have taken me three hours. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 well, brilliant. Well, the sideways built water with all the snot techniques for um, terracing the sand and attaching the rocks and, and little waves yeah. um, is some careful work, right? Like placing, it looks to me like those cheese wedges are actually attached to studs, you know, uh, yep. unless he's doing a lot of careful placing. And that takes, that's hard. Well, I know this is, um, yes, this is in studio, so this is a render, okay. but it does not make it any less valid. Like, no, this, the parts still, all still have to work together. Yeah, you gotta place all those all those snot pieces for that stuff to attach to. Yeah, believe and me. And you gotta I... understand how to assemble a ship to, it's, yeah. Absolutely. That's not easy stuff. All right, thank you. Studio does help with parts choice, though. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> okay, so this next one is from Matt English. A pirate port stocked with the finest spices, gems, and rum. We just got the new creator pi set pirate ship 
So it was perfect timing for this challenge. I was going for a classic pirate Lego set feel with this. Well, you got it. That looks great. Yeah, it's really, um, I really love the, well, I love, yeah, that new ship is awesome. And this is fantastic. Your, your whole, um, the whole building, the whole, um, like the, the pirate's lair area is so fantastic. The, the contrast of the roof pieces with the water makes it really, really colorful. Yeah, I think it's, um, it's beautiful. I think it's just gorgeous. So many cool details and snot work and clips. Lots of stuff the going on inside. The skull is great. Yes, the skull with the and it's part of a pirate ship too, right? Like it's like they took a pirate ship that had washed up on shore and made a pub out of it. Yeah, it's it's really really beautiful. Nice. Yeah, I think the thing I like the best about this is all the red that really makes it so. Um, like Lego toy quality, but also right. just colorful. Well, and it's very much like his intention. It very much looks like a classic pirate set. Yep. Like it's just, it's great. Yeah, the crow's nest is, pre the crow's nest in town is awesome. Okay. I see, I sense clickies. There is clicky action going ahoy, on here. Ahoy, ahoy, clickies in the distance. This is from MC Rat. After Captain Clicky and his crew's long adventure to find treasure, they finally find the X that marks the spot. Luckily, they brought shovels with them. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. They can, and they can well, look at the pirate hat on on Clicky here with the feather on yes, it. Yes, pirate hat with feather. And then I love the fact that they that they did bring their shovels with them because they are their own shovels. Oh my goodness! <laughs> they're See, digging they're up digging the, up the plates right there, <laughs> all of them. And brick built clicky um, is amazing. Again, old like, school. I know, super old school. Um, brick built clickies, very nice. MC stories, Rat, thank you. Stories built right in. Okay, so this is Whoa. from Minifig Chick. Super sassy baby and her squad are enjoying a peaceful sunset boat ride and picnic on the lake. Unfortunately, the mischievous super twin babies and their faithful yet concerned dog Horace have other ideas. They've decided to play at pirates are trying to steal all the tasty uh -oh. treats. Will super sassy baby figure it out in time to save the day <laughs> and the pizza? Nice. This is great. Well, that dog is one of my favorite pieces with the drawer with the with the treats in it. Yes, and I love that um, the babies have like like full on like full size hair on them. <laughs> it's so good. This is really fun. I love the different and you've used like different kinds of boats, which are great. You've got the pink and yeah. the red, but then you've got that little rafty boat, which yeah, the, is great with the pontoons. I found that I found one of those in medium purple. And I was very excited. I almost used it in my um, in my thing, but I didn't. Could be the doorway to a bouncy house, a bouncy castle. <laughs> Good. <laughs> <coughs> but yeah, this is a great little collection. Oh, and the brown boat too. That's right. Nice. I almost missed it. Work on the graphics, <coughs> mini fig chick too. You've got your story built right in there. And you did. Um, you you used Belleville. I also used Belleville. Just gonna say, that's all. Know, You'll had, see when we, we get to it. We had fun with our builds. I can't believe. Wow, you have a snot bracket there. Yeah, well, pink. this this side is you know less interesting. <laughs> Some pieces have a presentation size. So this Mine is does. mini fig Nick, and I will bring this in because yeah, we his gotta stuff look always closer. has incredible details. Incredible details. Well, the crab detail on the so, front is wonderful. So this is called Pirates the Musical. Here's a still <laughs> from the ill-fated reboot of the early '90s classic West End show Pirates the Musical. Starring many of the original cast, this updated version was hit with controversy from the moment the curtain opened, from the singing barrel babies to the rumored misuse of rum. Sadly, after only three <laughs> nights, the show closed, leaving many of the classic pirates out of work, awaiting a Lego reboot. <laughs> <laughs> reboot this is from indeed. Mini Big Nick. Well, I love the the Broadway set quality of this that it's all sort of mirrored side to side. So I'm gonna we're gonna have to pull this in because he always includes so much detail that you can't see. So let's check out. So the monkeys hanging on the, the on the rope. Yeah. The the beautiful use of the seagulls on top, and it's all symmetrical. Well, see the and that's the that's like a like a theatrical designer right it, yes it, it's mirrored but not exactly right it's mirrored but then the boat's headed one direction oh, he's playing a key guitar we've got crossed gold swords clipped on behind very the mast. nice 
and then let's take a look at the at the oh it's a the symmetry in this is just beautiful and it's just off enough yeah to make it interesting right like it's not yeah. exactly the same well it's like if you'll forgive me it's like the dresses in you know some musical or something where they all go with one another like they're all bridesmaids but they're all different there's so much to love here, and I really, really hope. Ooh. Yeah, those are the those are the precious. What is that? Those gold Celt squiggly Celtic doodles. Interlace. Those are from one set. I believe it's from a Harry Potter set, but I oh, could be wrong. Oh, and we've got twin walking the plank. Well, and I love that it's the, that it's a stage show, and they're all lined up like it's a musical, and it's just yep. brilliant. And the front and the the anchors on the front with the crabs and nick you never cease to amaze like yeah, just this is, incredible again super smart design right even the the um medium azure coral in the background is mm -hmm. mirrored but not exactly so it's funny um I, I don't know if you know about this minifig nick or if this was an inspiration so everybody knows about the one of the songs was sit down you're rocking the boat of course it was <laughs> I, 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 of course. that's a great song too by the way um, so yeah, really beautiful. Mini Fig Nick, always beautiful. And of course, if you're not following him and uh, him on Instagram, you absolutely should be. What are you waiting for? Like, go follow him. Mini Fig Nick. Um, but so That's I don't know great. if you know about this, but so there was Pirates of Penzance and then they made, there was a movie in the seventies called the Pirate Movie, which was, I saw it, which was the Pirates of Penzance. Was it with Sa not Sandra Bullock? Was Christy it? Christy McNichol. What? This was in the 70s. Okay, earlier. Um, earlier. And um, what was the kid's name from the Blue Lagoon? Christopher Atkins. Christopher okay. Atkins <laughs> and Christy McNichol in the pirate movie. So bad. Well, can I just say with all due respect to his curly locks that Christopher Atkins is no Errol Flynn. Right. <laughs> Sam. All right. There have been some great pirate movies. Oh, this is great. So this is... Oh, yeah. It looks like I need to move this over a little bit. Sorry, everyone. This is from Molly Williams. I love it. I love the simplicity. I just yep. love that. Um, uh, so See Molly Williams the says, blues. The Crow's Nest. A pirate finds himself adrift at sea. What new places or creatures will he discover with just his telescope and crow's nest vessel? Perhaps he will make a new shark friend, and together they will discover new islands. <laughs> And I love that you brick built your the top of your shark so that he could have it coming yeah. out. It's really really great, and I love the barrel, all the blues, the little bit of like you know chop with the yep. um, clear uh, cheese wedges. And again, just goes to show you, you don't need a million bricks. No, like you, can... you need good design. It's what you put in the frame that matters. Exactly, right? exactly. Or on the table at the con, or what people see. All right, let's see. All right, oh. So this is from Mr. Elmo Man. Um, uh, um, this is yeah. So this is Mr. Elmo Man's pirate uh, pirate ship, and I love this. I gotta say, so um, Mr. Elmo Man is one of our younger builders, and I love that she said, um, uh, "His mom." Yes, his mom says, "Happy belated birthday, Flynn. Glad you got to have your Lego themed party just like he did." <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I do. It's I have the same n birthday needs as one of our younger builders, and that makes me really happy. That that that's that's how you stay yep. young, my friends. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a couple of different shots of it. It's actually quite big. It's great, and and the ship shape. I mean, it is ship shape, right? You got the ladder going up the side there. Yes, and yeah, the ladder is great with the then with the clips yep. and the, the and the and the plates and I the like little ropes. The working door going into the cabin. Mm-hmm. Really, and the really front good. of the ship is molded really nice too. That took some careful work, right? Yeah, there's a. It's got really. It's got really really good shaping. Yeah, that front is not easy to do. And of course, the plank and an anchor too. An yes. anchor on a working uh -huh. reel. <laughs> oh yeah, anchor on a working reel. Very nice. There's yeah, a it's lot a, of details. He here. did a lot of. Uh, that's a lot of big building. But you know, Mr. Elmo Man is amazing. He always builds these big things, and um, he always has them completed in like a day. It's amazing. <laughs> I like. I'm. He gets so, busy. I'm so jealous. You need to be on. Lego Masters Juniors, I think, there, Mr. Elmo Man, whenever they decide to do that, that you need to and be on there. And a seagull. I saw the seagull. I saw the seagull. Seagulls. All right. 
Whoa. Okay, this, now this one I know has a few. This is a big boat. Oh my goodness, it So is. this is from Pink Wheels 3. This was um, Pink Wheels 3 and Ma so Meredith and Natalie together. Natalie and I wanted to share our work in progress. The friendship flying narwhal. All right. While it is still not complete, we thought it would be fun to take some progress photos for the Pirate Challenge Week. Oh, yeah. Natalie Whoa. has tasked me with helping her build a friend's mini doll pirate ship over the summer, and she has built all the furniture so far in the ship. Right now, the crew quarters, dining room, and brig are complete. We threw in a few stormtroopers into the brig for testing purposes. Captain's quarters oh, are coming along. Still working on it along with the top deck. All of the levels are modular, and a side of the ship pops off as well for playability. This is amazing. Um, Natalie and I were both inspired by the quarter round tiles from Dots, because yeah. they look like fish scales, as well as the new pearl type jewel. We are waiting on custom aqua sails from the UK. Oh! Um, and thanks again for all the fun. Well, look at all this coral work. The the uh, turquoise coral on the side is gorgeous against all that gold. It's really... Um, Can it's... you zoom into this one a little bit? Because um... it, it shows all the window treatment so well. Let me see. Yes. Sorry, I don't mean to put you on the spot. There look at go. that with all the grills. Talk about window treatments repeating this, right? And they are yeah. lucky enough to have lavender three-leaf plants with those jewels on them really really great and a lot of those um gold is it gold or brown scrolls yes in there as well yep wow really what a great. fun project for you to work on together well please please send us an image of it when it's done like so that we can show everybody once it's completed because i know everybody's going to want to see this i know yeah, I do. well this is just super oh and diggy is here hey diggy how's it going yeah. Diggy, nice to see you again, Diggy. Diggy sent me an awesome video for my birthday, and, and it was uh, it was pretty cool. I was very excited by that. Remember, we got to hang out with Diggy. We did. We got to hang out with Diggy when we went, when we went to Portland, and Diggy's dad. Yep. Um, who um, who is a friend of Holly's? Yep. See, it's all comes it all right. comes around. It all comes back to um to Brick's Cascade at this point. I like, know everything it's crazy. seems to come back to Brick's Cascade. I know that was a convergence. Look at this awesome base plate and cool build on top of it. So this is Osorg and his daughter Olivia. My daughter Olivia and I built this week's challenge together. Yay. A rival faction of pirates has stolen Captain Redbeard's stash of gold and weapons. But he won't be thwarted. Captain Redbeard takes his small ship to attach the rival faction's secret cave and win back his loot. See the secret cave with the treasure coming out of it? Yes. And the monkey, of course, is super fun. And this is a very 360 kind of piece, too. Yeah, I don't know if there's other photos. It seems like. Oh, yes, because there's the other part of it. There's the there's the rival faction. Ooh, I want those base plates are so cool. And there's the whole thing all together. Really great. And Good made, job with great parts. Yeah, and made use of the sails, like the old school black and white striped sails and the old school palm trees. It's really this super This has a fun. very old school feel. Yeah. And the and those burps, right? The big ugly rock pieces yep, are used burps. to great effect. Hey, Bob Builds, welcome. Welcome. Um everybody give a big tricky lug welcome to Bob Builds, a new uh um a new viewer. Hi, welcome. Um, all right. This is great. Thank yeah, you so much, so Osorg and Olivia. This is fantastic. I love all the plants. And we love it when, when you know, friends and families build together, right? Yes. How much more fun to build together. Yes. All right, this is from Paint Pusher. <laughs> oh my Yay. God. This is from Paint Pusher. Troll Pirate is outside his Skull Rock lair on an otherwise deserted island, burying his pirate booty, which is bones and not gold. His first mate, Evil Clicky, is bringing more booty. There's, Arr. there's evil. Those yes, evil old school clicky. clickies are getting. I know um, they're a getting a bad rap. Yes. Yeah. Wow, look at that brick built skull. That is. Some, <laughs> that's some hard work there. <laughs> this is really great. I, I'm a fan of the trolls too. And James is here. James Winnell, hi. How's it going? Oh, this is so fun. I'm glad that everybody's here. I'm So, of course, my very favorite part of this entire thing is the tiny hat. <laughs> <laughs> right? 
<laughs> I'm really gonna be a pirate. <laughs> it really makes you laugh. Um, the skull is great, and then the skull on the skull is yeah. great, and all of all the those extra bones. bones and stuff. And the the boat full of bones with evil clicky is kind of terrifying, and I love it. <laughs> the other thing I really like, uh, not only is these um, those custom printed um, wood pieces, yeah, um, but the palace. I recognize bricks, those. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> <laughs> I recognize From it. From one of the great brick printers we know. Uh, yes, Dan Keyes, who printed our Tricky Bricks bricks, which yep. a lot of you will be seeing in your mailboxes very soon. But the, the thickness of this base plate here with the Palisades bricks in front, I think, really makes it a more finished piece. Yeah, absolutely. Always and makes you've me got, think it should be on, you know, like a pedestal somewhere. And you've got nice levels and all that stuff. It's, yep. really, it's really fun. All right. Yes, the purple chests are from Friends and Disney Princess sets, by the Whoa, way. Whoa, buried Wow, it's actually chest. buried? Dang. Look at that. That's some work. All right, so this is from Rob Ketcherside. Um, whoa, wait a minute. Oh, yes. Um, so it says, Shiver Me Timbers, how could I be such a scurvy dog? Why did I wish for the biggest loot I've ever seen? <laughs> <laughs> it's the tiniest pirate. Yeah, um, I love this. It, I love the look at um, his ship in the background. Yeah, he's like the tiny pirate with his little rowboat, yeah. which is a brilliant little rowboat build, and yeah. then the forced perspective um, pirate ship in the background. And with the the waves crashing in. I know how Albert. I know how is he gonna? I think he's gonna have to like get in the chest and like push it out. And of course, one of the best parts um, is the fact that it's like buried. Yeah, like yeah, into that's the some, into the thing. That's one of those things where you you have an idea and then you're like, oh, this seems so much easier when it was in my head. I, that took some work, right? Yeah, and I I want to know where that chest is from because I don't recognize I that know, chest it's, with it's the pointy top. Big and beautiful. Yeah, it's pretty. It's really cool. Oh, I didn't know your dad was in the navy. Uh, oh, cool. Diggy, I had Mine no idea. too. Mine was too. All right. This next one is from... Oh, wait. Ooh. Is this the same one? No, this is a different one. All right, this is from Shane Dennis. Uh, Fallen Tree 23. Jinzaku's Blue Haven is the place for pirates of all species, robots, <laughs> and to get away from the space empires to the Royal Navy, no matter how hard they try. The Empire always discovers their secret island base. Uh, Jinzaku decided to enlist the help of clone troopers, Jedi, smugglers, and etc. to save the day from the tyrannical rule of the Emperor and allow piracy to flourish once more. So, by the way, this is huge. I know, this is a really... Well, you see how this, little the minifigures are, right? This is um, 23 and 3 quarter inches by 26 and 3 quarter inches. It's enormous. So it's, it's more than two by two base plates. And he built this in the week because he showed me pictures of it when he was still building the base earlier in the week. And I was like, wow, that's really big. I um, Look at all that crazy plant work. And are those medium azure branches? Yes, we, um, we, yes, we had a discussion Ooh. about that. Shane was very cross with us for um, building uh, the... Um, the hidden side set that had those blue. Oh, right. Because then he had That's to go out right. and buy them because he was he felt compelled. Well, which when I they're totally not get. in that hidden side color palette, they're they're super extra cheerful. So I, and I love that this guy has no shirt on. <laughs> no, <laughs> <Just> like <laughs> gonna jump down on top with the helmet makes it extra good. And the whole like the dining area is great with the pizza, pizza guy. guy. Um, and that, look, I love this chest with all the little like the little treasures in it. Um. Really, oh, so many tiny details. The details in this one are over the top, and it's so fantastic. Oh, do I see runes up there? I see a Mandalorian. It's so funny, too, because, um, I like the fish seller is such an iconic thing, yeah. And I have a, I have a fish seller planned for our, for our Fabuland build. Um, and now I'm like, now I'm extra excited about it. Look at the, um, the sign, the printed tile there, the fish sails yeah, sign. Yeah, that's great. Yes. And then with either, I can't tell whether it, uh, in this shot, I can't tell whether it's kanji or no, it's... like some kind of like space language. I... <laughs> um, on that tile, right, there's the little characters on the tile above the fish. Yes. That is great. Awesome. And there's another shot of it. I love all the flowers and yeah. The, I mean, it's just really, really great. 
It's just super really lively and sci-fi. Oop. So yeah, this is just lots of really great stuff. Shane, I am so impressed and proud of you for your builds. Like I know these are like the last week was the first time you've ever shown anything in public, and then you put yeah. this together in a week um, to show um, off again. And I'm just you've like you've come super far in a very short period of time so you should be really happy it's such a great silhouette and a lot of people um especially in early builds don't take advantage of vertical space much and you've yes. really composed very tall that I, I think makes um interesting shapes for the piece yeah it's it's really great and look the different Oop. colors of plates for the water too yes so this is fallen tree 23 shane not shane levan different but this one this next one is shane levan <laughs> Um, so, yes. Shane wow, Dennis. it looks like a classic iMac. So, this is going with the theme of piracy. Here's a kid in the early 2000s downloading yeah. some free music to his family's Mac. It is. Right, and on that, on that, those candy-colored iMacs. The iMac. blueberry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love this. The sh the shape of the computer, like, you know immediately what it is. Like, you didn't even have to write that it was on a Mac. Like, Richard Art knew immediately. No, from of course at it, it had it to be. We had those in our office. I worked for a, um, a lighting design um, and production company, and the whole front office was all those because it was designy design time. Well, it's br it's brilliant. Yeah, and the lavender floor works really well, too. Yeah, it's. I mean, and again, you don't need a million bricks. No, and these are gray walls, and it's still a really bold piece. Yeah, exactly. And I love the, and the clock, of course, makes it such a, always such a great detail, right? Yep, and see where you could have used um, regular 1x2s, he used profile bricks. Oh, um, he says, um, uh, most of my time was spent getting that iMac to look correct. And I'm you know what? Sure. It was completely and entirely worth it. Yep. <laughs> yeah, the little colorful mouse, all of it. Because it's not how many bricks, it's that they're in the right spots, right? Right, and really, like, that computer tells the story. Yeah. I mean, every, like, the whole thing tells the story, but that's, like, that thing. Like, everything else frames it. Yeah, really, really great. Yay, Shane. Okay, so this Whoa, is amazing. It's a bad day at the pub. So this is from the Hornburgers, who always has such <laughs> great stuff. After retiring from life on the seven seas, oh my goodness, our pirates grew bored and decided to open a Starbucks. Of course. Unfortunately, when the Kraken came in this morning to order his usual of a Davy Jones latte, Polly the Parrot kept repeating, Polly want a cracker? Not able to deal with annoyances before his morning coffee, the Kraken lost his temper and stormed out of the shop. <laughs> Still in need of a caffeine fix, he is now working his way through every window so he can not only get to Polly, but find his cup of coffee as well. Wow. <laughs> that is one grouchy Kraken. It's brilliant. Look and I, at all the great builds in this. Yeah, there's a million fun little builds and use of great fun. Yeah, the espresso machine... Um, the, the yeah, coffee the, cup the, on the wall. The coffee cup, the Starbucks logo coffee cup um, spoof, and the and the crack and and the whole story and everything. And I love, of course, I love the people all running yeah. um, in fear because that's always hilarious. And then this sort of ordering window, or no, the the baked goods case yeah, the baked is goods sideways case. built. Yep, baked good case is great. Really, really fun. What a fun collaborative build. And with the coffee cups, the ever-present Lego coffee cups. Yeah, well, and the fantastic um, uh, Griebel work on the walls, right? Like it get, like the walls are all different colors of brown and different styles of bricks. All, all worthwhile. Different different color bricks, some plate work. Yeah, it's it's pretty great. Yeah, the coffee pouring out of the cup, the, like a little splash. The out one of the who cup dropped it. Look, he dropped his he cup did. on oh, the floor, right, and he there's did. spilled out coffee yeah, on, on the, the floor. floor. He's so many, on. Those are the details. That, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Yes. Just saying, those are the details that Brickmaster Amy would have called out. And the stacked cups. I just saw the stacked oh, cups yeah, with over the, in the corner by the Kraken's red tentacles. Using cones with one by one round plates underneath. Wow. Wow. Oh, yeah, Super Sewer Baby is there. Not right see. in the background. Um, this wow. is a crazy day at the Pirate Starbucks. And lighting. Like, there we, is. we have it all. We have it all. Wow, Hornburgers, excellently done. Yay, collaborative building. Um, that was, wow, super fun. My goodness. <clears throat> 
some so this some is rough from... seas. Yes, krakens are a thing. <coughs> Excuse me, and we're about to find out all about them. <coughs> Excuse me. This is from the Lego Vet, and we always get a great lesson from the Lego Vet. Um, after a long voyage across the sea, our tricky pirate crew faces their greatest challenge yet. <laughs> the legends and myths of the Kraken have turned out to be true. The Kraken is a cephalopod-like sea creature that is enormous in size from Scandinavian folklore. Orig origins of this legend might be linked to the organism, the giant squid, which can grow up to 30 to 60 feet in length, wow. making them one of the largest invertebrates on Earth. <sighs> Like all squids, a giant squid has a torso called the mantle, eight arms and two lower tentacles. Inside the surfaces of these arms and tentacles are lined with hundreds of suction cups Blech. that are lined up with sharp, <laughs> fine rings of chitin, which serve to attach the squid to its prey. <laughs> this organism still remains a mystery to scientists today. Oh, man, that just Oh, my so... goodness, you don't want to be in that little boat, do you? Yes, yes. Oh, my goodness. All right. Wow, Lego vet, that was... I have a thing about... Krakens. Yeah, but but, he, but you've also included it in art, you know, images true. of it in lots of art because yeah. you like to be scared. <laughs> All right, that was a fun piece, and I always like the background with those too. So this is from Tio Brick, um, our friend Dan, and he says, um, a, "Oh wait, is this right? Yes, I think. Let's um, see, it's a piece of this is good. Our first catch of the day." I'm not sure. Dan, if you're here, is this you? Oh, oh my goodness, is this you? I love all the... Well, first of all, I love the characters. And I love yeah. the guy with the Hagrid beard, the caveman beard. Well, and how about the ocean in the background that's a tumble of bricks and plates? Yes. Right? Like, you don't see that kind of tumble very often, right? Well, and it's also um, it's also really good because it's got a, a nice depth of field to it. Yeah, right? I might not have ever seen that kind of tumble in a mock before. Like that big of pieces, you know, right? Like that, it makes really exciting seas. It's it's brilliant. Well, and I love the um, I, and I love the cloud. You know, you're talking about the cloud, but the cloud is like flat on flat the bottom. On the bottom, which is really, which is really great. Careful work. Uh oh, uh oh, look, it's a broken one by n brown tile. I think that oh, it's a it's a Star Wars quote because of course it is. Oh my goodness, how would I, how would I how did I not know this, right? That's because those tiles break. We use those, and it makes a great weathered deck. Yeah, it does. Okay, so this is from WGJL Productions, and it says, A ship in the bottle has been found on the sand. Um, Captain, oh, yes. Captain Brushhand is making Darth Vader go overboard for trying to steal his gold. Um, a pirate was told by his captain to find the X, but he cannot find it because it's covered in sand. That's it right there. <laughs> <laughs> um, Blackbeard the pilot has stolen treasure from Clicky's mansion. Um, oh no, this is different. Sorry, something else. There we go. Oh no. Yes, WGJL, uh, GJL Productions with the, the stolen gold, and I love that it was covered by sand. And we can see that oh, this is fun. Very well, nice. Again, even only, this is maybe ten bricks we're looking at here, but the use of a Palisades brick gives yeah. it some extra texture. Okay, this is from Xander. This is from Xander. Xander says, Blackbeard the Whoa. pirate has stolen treasure from Clicky's mansion. And this is, again, the further adventures of Bob, our time-traveling hero. Oh, know, yeah, the there he is. Um, as Bob attempts to recover the stolen property, firefighters are attempting to rescue Clicky from a burning tree. Just as all seems lost and the sharks begin to circle. Oh, um, my goodness. In zooms. Bum, bum, bum. Super Race Car Baby! Right there. In his flying car. With the help of Super Race Car Baby, Clicky is rescued from the tree and his valuables are restored. That was a close one. Wow. Oh, that's another piece. That is amazing. And I'm we and and we have a new introduction. Oh, a new character? <laughs> and a new character. Super super race car baby. I tell you, <laughs> you can tell because of their race car. I know. This is great. The ocean waves are nice in this one, too. Right, and the shark, and we got all the levels, and the scared guy on the beach. Um, and it's a great story. And yep. I love that you included, like, all the little parts. Really, really, really great. Including who's that, like, sunbathing? I don't know. <laughs> They're umbrella. having a good time. <laughs> she doesn't care. That's awesome, Xander. Thank you so much. This is from the Zicardi. Yay, Zicardi. This is from Lana. Um... 
Um, Ariel is giving alphabet lessons to the sewer babies, and guess which letter they are learning today? The letter R. R. Um, she doesn't notice the pirate sneaking in behind her, poised to steal her treasure. So it's a good thing Super Beach Baby has been catching the waves nearby and is ready to save the day. I tell you, these Super Babies have a lot going on. Um, I know, the Super Beach Baby, and I love all the little detail. Oh, Flounder and the turtles, and I love all the little details in the um in the water and the shoreline and the brick built pirate ship is straight to the point it's yes. really cool it's really really great with the little bird on the top and i love I, the sail and the the angle plates with tiles yeah That's this is good a work. wonderful little build lana you are really coming along with your builds they're getting so detailed and and yeah. really you've done a lot of really great work you're um yeah, I'm just so impressed. Well, I mean, look what what she did with the curved plates by the by the treasure chest. There's curved plates in the sand by the water, and then the sand gets darker by the. I think this is some really careful attention to um, to landscaping details. Yes, and Albert was mentioning, yeah, that the um, like the the shore is different colors from where the sand is wet. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. It's just really great, and the lobster. So that's a really sharp eye. All right, Lana. Lana is also one of our younger builders, right? Yes. Um, so this is from Rob. Rob says, "I don't have any traditional pirate theme pieces, so I went with my rendering." of Crimson Permanent <laughs> Assurance from the opening scene of Monty Python's The Meaning of Life. Yay. It was also a good opportunity to try to apply some window and wall ideas from last Monday's show. Well, you did, too. Look at those window treatments are great. Yes, any fans of um, of Monty Python will really appreciate this. The it's Crimson so, Permanent Insurance. So, so good. The and building, look, it's brilliant. Yes, you're getting lots of applause, Rob, in the... In there. <laughs> And the um, the mini doll in the tie up at the top. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah, that's right. It's like the mini the mini doll guy with a tie, mini doll guy with a tie. Very good. This is wonderful, Rob. This is and it's and brilliant and perfect. And the orange <laughs> the orange paper background really sets it all off nicely too. Yes. Yes. And I think the sales took a while to figure out, right? It, it did. Um, let's. See. Sorry, we got one more. I just got to make sure I've got the thing going on. Let's see. All right. Now, this is from Vanessa. Uh, Vanessa says, An intergalactic alien space pirate has come to Earth in search of a legendary treasure. However, the alien pirate's spaceship crashes offshore and our good skeleton pirates come to help him, even though he was looking to steal their treasure. Because that's what good pirates do. Oh, again, very good. Again, here with the um, with the rounded sand and then the different colors going into the water. Yes, I really. I, yeah, again, like they both picked up really well. Rob was just saying they both picked up really well on the waves and the beach stuff. Um, it's really, really, that's really fun. Really sophisticated work. And I love that. This boat. ship is crazy. This ship is crazy, and I love it. It's super fun. Right. This is a rough landing, I think. <laughs> it's like totally. it's being tossed about in the waves. And the skeleton pirates are terrifying. And yeah, it's really. Um, Excellent job, Vanessa. That's so great. Skeleton pirate in a silver pith helmet. I know. I'm like, oh, oh. It's very cool. All right. So, I, you know what? That is... Oh, wow. We had so many really? entries. We had a lot of entries. That's crazy. That was one of our... This was Thanks one of for our sticking with us, shows. everyone. That was so cool. Um, but we have... So, we have we do have two more things to show. And thanks, everybody, for those amazing, amazing... And thank you, Maraid, for doing that. Uh, really, that is Good hard work. work and, and we really appreciate it. It made a big difference. So, do you, are you ready to show yours? Yeah, we can show mine. I think we need to get rid of the... Do we have to get rid of the keyboard? Oh, we can move it over. I'll put the giant... Okay. You notice I'm okay. using my giant keyboard today. Now, so this one... Well, I'll just show this one, and then I'll talk about it. Okay, here we go. All right? Okay, you ready? <laughs> Look at that. See, the shark's gone. He surfaces on the water. You see him above the water, and then he goes back down again. 
I think we may have to do an episode where you tear that down and show people how you did it because it I was might, crazy. It, I really, really thought he wasn't going to be able to finish it in time. Well, it was a lot harder. Like this one, if I were to present this at a convention, um, I would do a, like at least one more version of it where I make it, you know, smoother. Cause, yeah. um, oh, and I can show you, look. Um, the axle that I was using here on the worm gear to turn the arm the shark is on was too low, so I used a rubber band up to, um, you know, another bushing here for the crank. And I'll just show you again. I'll try and go a little bit faster. And it's a little slow on the uptake there, yeah. the shark. Oh, 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 really awesome. Right? And see, so he's now... This is the hard part. He's fully above the water now. <laughs> so imagine that if you think like a record turntable. How did he raise and lower? <laughs> and he's much lower now. So that's my piece. Very awesome. You did a great job, honey. Nice oh, thank work. you, Brickanista. That's so nice. It was, I didn't think I was going to be able to finish in time. I didn't think I was going to be able to finish in time either, but mine is much smaller than yours. You have a, you have a lot more going on. Well, now, I had to cover up all those mechanics. I used Belleville in mine. Um, so this is, and I didn't have, I didn't unfortunately have time to write a story, but I'm going to be very careful with it here. But here is my fairy pirate air balloon um, ship. And it's, and it's be... pretty bright right now, but yeah. it's in, but it's pink and lavender. It's all pink with a lavender balloon, and I don't know if you can see, but I have the the flower fairy from Belleville right there in the in the front. Is she gonna focus there? For a moment, she did. So, yeah, check it's... that out. Kind of steampunk princess friend. It is kind of steampunk steampunk princess. And then um, these are all uh, Bionicles pieces, I believe, um, that I was able to sort of like tool together. But And with the eagle wing. Yeah, I got the wings and the little front. But yeah, I'm going to take a picture of it against our sky backdrop. We just didn't have. And this, which is one of my favorite gold pieces. Yeah, here. we have that on the right. on the carousel, right? Yes, they are. Yeah, those come on the carousel. So that's what we built. And I will be fo photographing it uh, eventually. Very good. Oh, the Lego vet recognized the Bionicles pieces. Oh, yeah, right <laughs> on. Well, golly, that was a that was an epic slideshow, y'all. Oh my goodness. Fairly amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, um, so oh, um, Aquamike TV asks, what sword is that? Um, I'm not. I don't recognize I don't, that sword. I'm not sure which what it came from. Zach Martinez, I agree. Great builds, everyone. Um, what, so I was thinking that maybe we do that. Yeah, with a. Um, let me see. You, here, use a pen. Oops. Yeah, you can't. If you can't tell, we didn't have this sorted out of. Yeah, time. we're just covering the so final this... details of the new build challenge. Yes, between what and. Well, that'll be up to them. Okay. See, sure. Do you see how we work it out right in front Look at of you? That. This is a highly detailed, planned challenge we're that you're about to get about right it. now. But no, we were building instead. Um, and actually, some of you kind of already did this with your current builds, so it shouldn't yep. be too much of a stretch. This was sort of like a precursor yeah. for that. But the um, idea is to stretch yourself. Yeah, but the idea one. is to stretch yourself. So this time, we're going to do a mashup challenge. And that is whatever that means to you, but two genres that you're going to mash up together. So like today, some people did space yep. pirates or other kinds of pirates. You're going to do a mashup challenge. And whether that's Star Wars and Harry Potter or, you know, blue blue bricks versus red bricks or whatever. Yep. I mean, you know, with the pirates and, versus aliens or whatever or alien pirates like we did before. We're going to challenge you on this one. Like, if you come up with an idea in the first 10 seconds, put that one on the list, but see if you can stretch yourself. Maybe come up with something brand new um, for yourself in this mashup challenge. This is definitely a creativity challenge, right? Yes, it is a creativity challenge for sure. So um, go ahead and mash up. No size limit. Um, this isn't a size limit thing. Yep. This, is a, this is a creative challenge, an imagination challenge. And, and see, again, always always short stories are, are very welcome, but yes. see if we can tell what the mashup is without any words at all. 
Yes. Like, we'll look at them first. Like, what's being mashed up here? Squid and Diggy. I'm going to do a mashup of Friday the 13th and Nightmare on Elm Street. I am 100% yes. here for that. that is, <laughs> I am super here for that. Um, oh, and real quick, I know I haven't mentioned it in a few days, but... Oh, yeah, what's that, Flint? We are doing a 2,000 subscriber drive. When we hit 2,000 subscribers, we are going to give away this Warrior King... No, monkey King, monkey King Warrior Mech. It's Monkey Kids Monkey King Warrior Mech. That's it. Anyway, we'll be giving away a copy of that. So and if you it aren't already subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Um, a big reminder to everybody, we will not be here on Sunday. Not this Sunday. So not tomorrow, not Sunday. We'll be back Monday. Yes, we will be back Monday. And no the Sunday show. Because we're taking a little we're having a little break. Um, um, although I don't know, we'll see what we're going to be able to do. Yeah, it's, the, we, the plan, fires. we planned a break and it's more like we're going to get chores done. Oh, I, <laughs> hey, well, I'm also might start building that. The Harry Potter. Yes. But I'll let everybody know if I am going to, um, if we're going to do the, oh, uh, if I'm going to do the, if I'm going to do the Twitch build of the Harry Potter, uh, set, I will definitely let you, um, I'll definitely let everybody know. He's a good one. Do you think you're getting... Jared, you gotta, oh, he thinks he's getting have, treats. That's you're why. You're going to have an extra half. Right oh, now. my goodness. That's to make up for Sunday's Logan cookie time. Right, that's Sunday. You'll get cookies anyway, though, right? Yeah. He's like, okay, where's the rest of the cookies? All right. No, you only get one cookie time. Um, so Thanks, everyone, for joining us. Thank you for your hard work and creativity and just spirit of fun in all the things you build. We love seeing them, and it inspires us to build. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I mean, we had su we had super fun with this one. I'm excited for the mashup challenge. Um, I will put the. Um, oh, I don't think I'll be going on Twitch on Sunday. No, I'm going to take that as a no camera day. No, but like maybe no starting cameras. next week, we'll see. Um, yeah. We'll see that. You know, um, I wanted to say too, especially for the new building or builders, putting stuff up is brave. Right? You're yeah. kind of putting your stuff out there. And this is just, I think it's a really great place to do it because people are just going to, you know, tell you what is awesome about your piece and encourage you to make more. So, hooray to everyone who was bold enough to put some pieces up there. Absolutely. And as always, I will post on the website, not as always, the new thing is Yay. you will go to trickybricks.com. There will be an article up about the current, uh, the current challenge. challenge. And where you can send the article. So it'll have a link to the form. It'll have the rules um, and the, the email in case you want to do it. And I wanted to say also thank you, everybody, so much for following the rules of the form. Everybody did a oh, great yeah. job of getting their names the right way and all that stuff. And I know that really helped Maraid. So um, thank you so much to everybody for, for doing that. Great Don't work. forget, if you want to email us, you can do so at flynn at trickybricks.com. If you have uh, some ideas for a show or something you'd want to know, you can get us there. If you want to send us snail mail for uh, viewer mail, uh, fan art or fun or stickers or, you know, whatever you want to put in there, an empty envelope, uh, you can send that to <laughs> Flynn and Richard, P.O. Box 11517. Oakland, Oakland, California, 94611. And we, we love sharing mail with you all. Yes, we do. It's a, it's a super, a lot of fun. Um, and I'm also looking into some songs that are in the public domain so that finally Richard will oh, stop yeah. bugging me to play ukulele on Okay, can I tell you, someone picked up his ukulele and I even heard him sing. I heard him sing while playing the ukulele this very morning, moments before we were on air. And try to deny that. Yes. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. I almost forgot. Yano, I'm so sorry. So we actually, um, Yano is doing an event, and I am going Thanks to... Thanks for reminding us. Yes, thank you, thank you. I'm so sorry about that. I forgot to write it down. And I am going to... Why don't you... i got to do this for a second. Yes, yeah, going to expand our... I'm going to expand. Interface. Yeah, sorry, everybody. i got to get this... Uh, I've got to get this up real quick. Here we go. So maybe um, you could talk about Richard the Fabuland, the Fab Max challenge. While I do, while I take okay. care of this. Well, um, we're uh, trying to point everyone to um, trickybricks.com, our website, which is the center of all information for tricky bricks. The and center of all it information. Is the center. It's the galactic hub for tricky bricks, <laughs> right? And um, we have an article up there with sample photographs and ideas and I think a color palette as well yep. for our Fab Max challenge, which is to make something in the 
In the vein of Mad Max Fury Road, or those Mad Max movies, kind of this apocalyptic vehicle chase. Yes. Um, but in the Fabuland, spirit of things and um, and color palette. The color palette's the most important with that one. You don't have to have Fabuland pieces. And I would say this is, um, it's definitely a um, cheerful, family-friendly piece. Collaborative build. Right? So while... The cars can be battling it out. Let's just keep that all nice, too. You know what I mean? Like, no, nothing graphic. Indeed. <laughs> okay. Like so, with all of our challenges. So here is. Um, wow! Look what you did. I know. I look what I did. I, I can do stuff sometimes. All right. So this is all the information for Yano's party today. It's talk like a, a pirate day with an interactive party on Zoom. Um, you can do tickets at CaptainBlueIsland.com. Uh, it's a fr family friendly show at four and then a grown ups only show at seven. And um, th you can that's where you can get your tickets. And there is a discount code for Tricky Lug members. Save with a discount code Tricky Lug. Ahoy hoy. Very good. Oh, it's 919. I'm so sorry. It, yeah, so it's not today. It's 919. Oh, sorry. Uh, so September 19th. Month. So there's time next to plan. month, everybody. You got plenty of time to plan. And we'll definitely talk about this again uh, here on the show. See, it's not even immersive, it's submersive. It's submersive. You're going to be submerged. <laughs> a submersive in this virtual event. event. That's awesome, Yano. Thank you so much. Um, th and thank you for the reminder. I'm so sorry I forgot. Lots of things to think about. Um, and uh, Yano says um, she'll be playing shanties on the ukulele. There'll be some knife juggling, mermaid trivia, wow. and lots of prizes for our treasure hunt and costume contest. Wow, don't try that at home. That's pretty awesome. Don't try that knife juggling at home. And Yano, uh, make sure you post that in the, the Tricky Lug um, uh, Discord server, if you yep. would. Yep. And, hit, and you can hit up uh, Shane LeVan, and he can help you out with that, so... All right. What a fun day. What a fun Friday. A fun Friday and a goodness, a long show. We've been getting so many um, submissions now. It's starting to it's take true. longer. So we may have to do something. We we want to be able to show everyone submissions. So we may encourage you to have shorter descriptions if you or can. Or we may encourage ourselves not to do so much at the beginning of the show. <laughs> oh, right. And just, it's true. We could just dive right into the skip all show. The I'll skip all of this other stuff and we can pick that up Arr. on Monday. Um, so, yeah, don't forget, everybody, we are not here Sunday. Not this Sunday, not but this most Sunday. Uh, but we will definitely be back on Monday with something we'll fun, have stuff. I'm sure. Well, part of what we'll do Monday is I'll take the top off this and show you the things I thought about to make that, that shark um, raise and lower while it was going around. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, that's going to be it. Well, I'm, I still can't get over that. You did a brilliant job. Well, it's a simple mechanism. It can definitely be finessed. It could be a lot smoother, but I'm just happy. The thing I'm excited about is it was hard and I took on the challenge and I got it done in time. There you go. Right? That's all you could ask for. I could have not done it because it wasn't going to be <laughs> perfect, but you got it done. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. We will see you Monday mm -hmm. at 10 a.m. Um, and until then, please make sure that you stay safe. Stay healthy, wear, wash your hands, wear your mask, and we will see you Monday at 10 a.m. Happy building, everyone. Happy building, everyone. Bye.